Welcome back. In the last unit test for this specific section, what we'll do is we'll write a simple unit test for the CDI business and the DAO. We'll use Mockito to write this unit test. Right now, this class does not really have any business logic, so I'll just quickly add some business logic onto it. So let's say there is a get data method in the some CDI DAO. So let's enhance that. So let's quickly add in a public. Uh, let's say it returns a list of integers and get data and let's call this return new int of 589 for now i'm just hard, hard coding some data back typically this would be something which would be talking to the database getting the details back so typically the data comes from the database and the cdi business when we look at it we can write a simple method i'll say public int find greatest and let's quickly implement a greatest method so this would actually call some cdi dav dot get data so it will call the data and assign it to a local variable the data is here so i'll say int greatest is equal to i'll start with integer dot min as the default value let's assume that the data can have something negative so if data we need to loop around the data so let's use for data data for data value in data what we need to do is if value oops this should be int if value greater than data sorry if value greater than greatest what am i doing here <laughs> if value is greater than greatest then what we need to do greatest is equal to value and at the end i would return the greatest back one of the things that is possible now is i can write a simple unit test to launch this context up and check what's happening in here so what i'll do is i'll actually take the java context thing that we already have so we have the binary search test i'll copy that and i'll call this this is testing the some cdi business so i'll call this some cdi business test uh, one of the important things is we should match the package so let's say i'm going to use the cdi package let's close everything out now the test i'd want to move it to the cdi package control one move it to that package that's cool now i would want to auto wire in that dependency for cdi so some cdi DAO. that's what we would want to use ah, actually we want to use the business so some cdi business and here i would want to call this business we are taking the bean and auto wiring it in here and what we would want to do is business dot get find greatest so when business dot find greatest is called what is the data that we are written right now let's check that very quickly the data we are written back is 58900 so 100 should be the value which should be coming out as the output let's quickly run this that's cool the test succeeds so this is working fine let me quickly remove all the comments so that we can focus on whatever we want to do in this particular step which is to use mockito one of the things that we are doing in this specific test is actually we are depending on the data layer the we are trying to get the data from the data layer this is not really a good practice because now what we are doing is we are going across layers so from the business layer we are going to the data layer and getting the data from the database so typically this might not be hard coded this would be something which is coming from the database which would mean that if data in the database changes or if somebody else has modifies the data or some if the database is down then your unit test would start failing and that is the kind of dependency you would not want and that's what we have discussed extensively during the mockito section that mockito helps in creating mocks and using mocks to write the unit test so what we want to do here is in the business so we would want to test the business with different kinds of data how does this business react to different kinds of data so one of the options is to create multiple versions of some cdi dao but that's not a good option so what we'll do is we'll create mocks of some cdi dao so we'll create mocks of some cdi dao and we'll write a lot of unit tests 
to test the CDI business with that. So let's see what would happen now. Let's try and write this specific thing with Mockito. When we write the test with Mockito, we don't really need a Spring context. So all that you need to do is you need a Mockito JUnit runner. That's all that you'd need to use. So Mockito JUnit runner. And over here, I would want to create a mock for the data. It's for the DAO, right? For the DAO, we would want to, for some CDI DAO, we would want to create a mock. So I'll say DAO mock. And we would, once we, we want to create this mock, create mock, and we would want to, once the mock is created, we would want to inject the mock into the business object. So create it and inject it in. So you can actually put it this way also to make it easy to understand. But I like putting the thing that is being tested at the top. So some CDA business is being tested in the some CDA business test. So I actually prefer putting it at top. And what we'll do is we'll say in the test scenario, before actually calling the business to find greatest, we would say, okay, when DAO mock dot find data or get data method, right? So it's called get data. When do dot dot get method is called return hard coded value. I will say for now return list of two comma four. And what would be the expected result in that kind of scenario? The greatest is four. So this should return a value of four. How do we do that? That's where Mockito comes into picture. The Mockito JUnit runner identifies and understands a few annotations. So we want to create a mock for the sum CDI DO. How do you define that? It's by using an annotation called add mock. I would want to inject the mocks in here. How do I do that? Inject mocks. So this mock would be created. It would be injected in here. And what I can do is use a method called Mockito dot when. So what we what I can say is mockito dot when our method calls. So when do dot mock dot get data is called. So on the mock when get data method is called, what should you do? Return back, then return back new int of two comma four. So don't allow the actual method call to happen. Replace with a mock and populate the data that we are sending in here. And now the actual data, actual result will be four. That's cool. And let's run this test and see what would happen. All shift takes run JUnit test. That's cool. Now this test is working fine. The cool thing about the unit testing with mock, I will go, I'm going to inline this variable, all shift I or right click refactor inline. The cool thing about writing a test with mock is it's very easy to create other scenarios. So you can actually name these scenarios well. I'm calling them basic scenario one and two. That's not the best way to name them. You can think about the best way to name it and see what happens. So when I have no values passed in, I know that the value will be integer dot min value. So I can write a unit test for that scenario. I can write unit tests for another scenario where let's say elements are equal. So let's say two comma two. So the value should be two. Right, so I can actually say equal elements. I can call this no elements. I can call this basic scenario. So this can be test basic scenario with no elements, test basic scenario with equal elements. And let's run the test. You'd see that the tests are succeeding. Let's run all the tests. It's only running a specific test. So now all three tests are succeeding. In the last part of this section, we looked at a lot of different unit tests. We started with writing a unit test with a Java Spring context. Then we wrote one with uh, XML Spring context. And now we have completely switched over from Spring context to Mockito. And we are using mocking to write your unit test. If you are writing tests for your business layer, then the best framework to use to write unit tests is Mockito. Mockito is very simple to mock. You don't really need to load up the entire Spring context. So if you compare the amount of time that you would need to take to run a Mockito unit test compared to a Spring unit test, the Mockito unit test would almost be 10 times faster. So I would try and avoid using Spring as much as possible in my unit test. 
However, you, uh, like when we go to MVC and other stuff, you would have to use frameworks like mock MVC and launch up a Spring context. There, it's kind of unavoidable, but wherever it's possible, try and avoid using Spring in your unit tests. Until the next step, bye-bye.